Hello YouTube. Today we will send an image from client to server using Indie component. First let's build our client interface and add the necessary component. Now let's change the property of every component to suit our needs. Like the caption in the text. We can move between the component using the object inspector. Here we are going to use a trick in the code logic to use one button for connecting and disconnecting. Using the if block in the else block. And the condition depend on the button one caption. Here we add the component responsible of the connection between the client and the server in the client side. Here we change the place of the begin and end to make all the code we wrote belong to the if block. We use try and finally to make sure. If the code after try work properly in the end of try we execute the code after finally. Here we write the else block. If the condition doesn't return true, the else block will execute. Here we write the code for sending button to send an image. We begin by defining the T object we need in the process. Then we make sure that WA create them. That will allocate the memory for each object. After loading the image to tPicture object the tPicture object will take the image property. From that we can assign its property to the tBitmap object. After that we save the tBitmap object after casting it to tMemoryStream.
after casting it to team memory stream and save it. We put the pointer to the beginning of the allocated memory. And that assign the position to zero. Then we send the size of our image for the server to allocate the exact amount of bytes to save the image. Then we send the stream to the server to write it to memory. Finally, we free the resources we use for this process. If any error or any exception occurred, we show a message that the sending failed. We can add a message to the memo component that the sending is on. After checking the code we can save the project to specific file. If we make changes to the project after saving, just executing will update all the project files. Now let's begin new project for the server side. First let's build our server interface and add the necessary component. Now let's change the property of every component to suit our needs. Like the caption in the text. We can move between the component using the object inspector. Here we add the binding information, like the IP and the port. We can set the IP to four zeros to listen on all interfaces. Then we make the component responsible of listening active using the third line of code. Now select TCP server component then choose event. Go to on execute which is responsible of receiving any coming data in our project. And write the following code. We identify under var. ms as t memory stream. And the variable size as an integer to receive the size of the coming image data. After begin we will try to allocate memory for the MS stream by using the create method. Then, we try to receive the size of the coming data by writing the first line under the second try. In the line under it, we try to receive the coming data and store it in MS stream.
after receive the coming data and store it in MS Stream. We use the method save to file of MS Stream to save the coming data as a file named 0.png. Then finally we free the MS Stream from the allocated memory in the RAM. If any error or any exception occurred we show a message that the sending failed. You can save the project to any folder you want. I save it to folder named server next to the client. If we make changes to the project after saving, just executing will update all the project files. I am going to put a PNG file in the client folder name 0.png as we wrote in the code to send it to the server. I am going to run the server and the client in the same machine. If you want to try it on a network you can watch my video about running TCP on any network. Watch the server folder a new file will appear in the folder after I click send file button. That is the image we send. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. See you on part 2.